First, let's understand different stages of our existence in our day-to-day -day life. In our day-to-day -day life, we all know about this reality, which is called awakening state, the state where we are awake. The state where we can see through our eyes, we can experience things through our senses. And most of us take it granted for that this is the most important experience. But now there is another experience which we all go through. That experience lasts for about eight to nine hours during our sleep. And that experience in the sleep is the dream state. And most of us go through those dreams in our sleep. And then there is the third state of our existence, which is deep sleep, which of course, very few of us get these days because our minds are so distracted and disturbed and our subconscious minds are filled with so much of material, information, data, experiences, emotions. All of these, of course, keep our subconscious super active going up and down like this, resulting on these dreams, resulting in restlessness, resulting in sleeps which are not really deep enough. But there is that state of consciousness called deep sleep. And then there is a fourth dimension which many of us do not know, which is beyond this awakened state, beyond the state of dream, beyond the state of sleep, which one can actually experience and realize something profound. Now these four experiences in the ancient wisdom are called in different terms using the language Sanskrit. We call them as Jagritavastha, which means the state where we are awake and the state which is Swapnavastha, which is the dream state and the state called Sushuptyavastha, which is the dream deep sleep state and then the state called Turiyavastha, Turiya state which is the state of consciousness which is beyond all these three states where the body and mind are completely transcended.